Hi everyone, it's Jojo and I have another thrift haul video for you. I went to the Goodwill yesterday and today, so these are the finds that I found. Um, I have one bigger item, my favorite item out of all of them, and I'm going to save that for last. I actually have it on the chair beside the table and um, I will show you that at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I found four different brooches. These were all at the same Goodwill. I paid $1.79 a piece. Three of them are unsigned. This one right here is signed. It's a little kitty with a ball of yarn. And it says Misco on the bottom, I mean on the back. And then here is a rhinestone brooch. It's like a light blue color. And here's the back of that one. I loved um, just how all the rhinestones were um, set like that. Very pretty. And then I found another cat, another kitten. This one has uh, blue rhinestone eyes and rhinestones for the collar. And then this one, this one's probably my favorite out of all of them. It is an enamel flower uh, brooch. Pretty good condition, a little scuffed up on the, on the bottom of the um, stem, but overall really nice. Pretty good size too. I got this handbag, this uh, purse, vintage purse. Um, it was a red tag, so the red tags were half off uh, this week, $3.29, so I paid half of that. Um, the only thing it is the little glitter on the bag like that are flaking off all over the um, tablecloth, so I could see that getting all over um, whatever I was wearing, so I don't know. I don't know about that one. I picked up this book. It's a Better Homes and Gardens handyman book. I paid $1.29 for it, and this one is a fifth printing from 1957. And I love the pictures in it, and the um, cover is amazing. I love that. Bought a colander. It's just a it's just an older vintage uh, colander. I paid $0.99 cents for it. Legs like that on the bottom. This little strawberry, I believe, is made by Hazel Atlas. I have one. Um, there was like a apple, a strawberry, and a pineapple, which is pretty hard to find. Um, again, it was a red tag, so it was only 50 cents, so I went ahead and got it, even though I already have one. It's like a milk glass, and it's a strawberry, like a little jam jar. I love this bird. It's a beautiful, it's a ceramic bird. I paid $1.29 for it. Um, possibly porcelain, but I think it's ceramic. Um, made by Cromer, which I think is a German company. But I love how it's all white like that. Found an antique painting, an oil painting, and I do believe it is antique. I did take the sticker off of it because it was right there, right on the painting itself. And it just came in yesterday, so I was really hoping that it wouldn't um, pull off the paint on the canvas, and it actually didn't. I paid a dollar ninety-nine for it, and here is the back of it. It's got a wood plank like that, which is really neat. It's unsigned. So I'll have to do more research on that. Whoops. Uh oh. There we go. Um, picked up a few linens. I got a pillowcase. This is made by Fieldcrest, and I paid 99 cents for it. A vintage tablecloth that has fruit all over it. it does have a couple stains. I'm gonna have to try to get out. Um, Oops, that's not for the tablecloth. I think I paid two, $2.29 for the tablecloth. And then this is a twin bedspread with all this embroidery work on embroidery work. Um, it's a basket of flowers and then it has a different flowers around it and a fringe. And I thought this was a really good price. Again, $2.29 for the whole bedspread. I found this quilt and um, I paid uh, $2.29 for it also, and it has these um, nursery rhyme squares on it. I have an old one that my grandma and my mom had done for me. It was my grandma's. Um, the squares were from her when she was a kid. I'm not sure the date on these. I'm not sure if they're newer. And some of them have like the same character, like Simple Simon, but different colors. Like this one looks like a little faded, where this one is really bright. So, and then this is like a denim squares. So I'm gonna have to do a little more research. It is longer, so maybe um, I'm thinking it was more for a crib, like a baby crib. And then I picked up this old, or it's a JCPenney's um, full sheet, and it's a flowered um, print. And I paid, oh geez, I don't even know where that tag is. 
I'm gonna guess I paid around a dollar twenty nine for it. It wasn't it wasn't any more than two dollars. I do know that for sure. And lastly, my favorite thing is I found a vintage croquet set. It's missing a couple of the balls here. I think there's about two more that went in there. Um, but overall, it was in good condition. Um, I paid $6.99 for it. And most of the mallets are in good, not too bad condition. I did flip it around so I could see these because this one has like a crack on it. I think this one actually has, there you go, has like a, a corner off of there. But I was really excited about this. I actually saw uh, the one blog that I had read a little while ago um, and decorating your house actually did um, some decorating with the croquet um, mallets and the balls. So I haven't decided where I'm going to put that exactly and what I'm going to do with it. My husband has no idea why I even bought it, but I thought it was really cool and I was excited to get it. So that's it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you like the vintage and antique items like I do. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you found this week or what um, item was your favorite. Thanks so much and until next time, bye.